Hello everybody. In this lecture what I am trying to do basically is get everybody acquainted with the concept of plastic bending of beams. Now in the previous two lectures we have read about plastic design and we understood the basic principles of plastic design. And if we incorporate that thing of plastic design to beams then we get plastic bending of beams. Now essentially I will try to elaborate what I said just now. Now suppose that there is a beam like this with two reactions and three loads and suppose I cut a cross section like this and represent the cross section the cross section is any general cross section suppose then if this is my neutral axis and suppose to the bottom of the neutral axis the area has its centroid at C2 which is at a distance of Y2 from the neutral axis and the top has its centroid at a point C1 which is at a distance Y1 from the neutral axis. Now essentially we know that sigma Y is equal to M Y by I. Now for, for values of sigma Y to be less than sigma YP or the yield point we have some kind of a linear stress distribution system wherein we will have this kind of a stress distribution system. A linear stress distribution system because it's a linear function of y as we can see from here and this sigma y will have its maximum value at the extreme five is suppose this is my compressive forces stresses and these are my tensile stresses now the sigma y will have its maximum value at the extreme five is and essentially this is suppose sigma y extreme and this is also sigma y extreme right now now if we increase this m further the sigma y or sigma y e is going to increase further right and a stage will come wherein the sigma y e will be equal to sigma y p or the stress in the extreme fibers will be equal to the yield point and at that stage the stress distribution system will look like some kind of a thing like this where the extreme fibers will have stress equal to yield point whereas the interior fibers will have uh, some kind of a linear stress distribution system like this where sigma y e is equal to sigma y p now if we increase this m further a stage will come whereas wherein this interior fibers the stress in the interior fibers will also reach sigma y p and hence we will have this kind of a stress distribution system wherein all the fibers have their stresses to be equal to sigma yp right and for this lecture what we are going to do is basically study the stress distribution system now now this, sig th this will this top the, the, fourth, the stresses acting at the top of the neutral axis will have its resultant acting at a distance of y1 and the stress will be sigma yp into a1 right the stresses at the bottom of the neutral axis will have its force acting sigma yp into a2 and this will be at a distance of y2 from the neutral axis so essentially I can have I can equate these two forces and that will be sigma yp into a1 is equal to sigma yp into a2 and this is my number one equation. The second equation, we get a measure of the plastic moment, right? MP, which is the plastic bending moment, will be equal to nothing but sigma YP into A1 into Y1 plus sigma YP into A2 into Y2, right? And if we substitute the sigma YP into A2 with sigma YP into A1 here, then we have sigma YP into A1 y1 plus y2 and this is my general equation now we have taken the cross section to be any kind of a cross section suppose this cross section was a rectangular cross section like this right but in the neutral axis is like this acting at a distance of h by 2 from the extreme neutral axis at a distance of h by 2 from the extreme fibers and the breadth of the beam is nothing but is equal to b now A1 for that case will be equal to BH by 2 
and y1 is equal to y2 will be equal to h by 4. So essentially I have sigma yp into a1 is equal to bh by 2 and this will be h by 4 into 2 that is h by 2. So sigma yp into bh squared by 4 is my plastic moment. Right. And what is my elastic moment? The elastic moment me will be equal to sigma yp into b8 square by 6. But b8 square by 6 is a sectional modulus. So mp by me is equal to 6 by 4 or 1.5. So mp is equal to 1.5 times me. Therefore from this observation we can conclude that if we design the beam with limit design the plastic moment it can carry is 50% of the time 50% larger than the elastic moment, right? So essentially this is all for this lecture and in the next lecture we'll try to take a look over if, if, the, if this cross section was not rectangular and if it was circular uh, then what would happen and in the next to next lecture what I'll try to look is at the concept of plastic hinges. Thanks a lot for listening. Thank you.